Hello, welcome to the New Jersey Pony Power Show here at Jake's Branch Park once again. As we are easing into summer here, but we have a nice cool breezy day, trust me. If there wasn't this breeze blowing, the pine flies would be bad, but... We're going to be walking along the Tindy Trail over to the Nature Center. Some piney areas, we're going to be on the lookout for butterflies, wildflowers, all kinds of interesting stuff. There's a little butterfly right there, I don't know where it went, but... And here we go, here's something nice and rare for you. This is a pink lady slipper. It's in bloom right now. Right there. Very easy to miss if you're not looking for it. Oh, it is a... This is actually an orchid. It's very beautiful, as you can see. These are rare. They are not common at all. But that is a pink leader slipper right there. All right, continuing along the trail here. It's a very beautiful... Uh, you never know what you're going to find, you know. But, uh, a lot of wildflowers are in bloom right now. So we're, not only do we have to look up at these great shapes, but we also need to look down and see what kind of flowers, because they're easy to miss if you're not looking down, I'll tell you. All right, this is a nice sand road, but guess what? I got some more flowers to show you. Let's take a look at that right there. I believe that's Pine Barrens Heather in Bloom for you. That's also in bloom right now. You see the beautiful yellow flowers. You got lots of great shapes here, huh? These are the bracken ferns. This is a burn area, so you can see a lot of bracken fern and stuff like that. It's an old burn area. There you go, look at that. And of course we got blackjack oak. Of course more great shapes over there. It's a little butterfly right over there, if you can see it. Camera doesn't want to focus though. Could be that blue butterfly we saw in Rocky Point. The uh, there it is. Now this is that's a different kind of butterfly. It's a different kind of butterfly. Its markings are different than the other ones. It's, it is a but I think it is a butterfly though. It looks like a carna blue, but it is not a carna blue. I'm not sure what kind of butterfly that is, but. It's a very little it is a very little blue butterfly. All right, so we're right back into the woods here. We're just going crossing past the nature center, and you can see there's a lot of old field toad flax actually in bloom over here. You see this purplish flower right here? That's old field toad flax. All right, we're going to be taking the trail into those woods right across this field here. Nothing but great shapes over here. In a very piney area. Look at all this green on the ground, too. We got the bracken ferns and blackjack oaks around, too. Huckleberries. Yeah, look at all these great shapes in here, huh? We got the bracken fern. Now, they did do a controlled burn in this area, so uh, you can definitely uh, see a lot of bracken ferns. They like the uh, controlled burn areas. A lot of them. There's one that still isn't, some of them still haven't completely leafed out. All right, take a look at these great shapes, huh? We're gonna be veering off that trail to that area that you know what I'm talking about. Gonna check that out next. Take a look at those great shapes, huh? That's what it's all about, classics like that. All right, we're along the Tindy Trail here in this, uh, where is the Tindy Trail? It's over there, yeah. <laughs> Easy to lose it. Um, there's more of that Pine Barrens Heather again in bloom, right there. I'm going to show you some more great shapes over here, you know. Loaded with great shapes everywhere. You know I love areas like this, right? Yeah, you know that. <laughs> yeah, look at all those great shapes. You can see the candles. Definitely here, they're the candles. These candles are going to become, you know, as the branches grow, these candles will grow needles on them. As you can see, we got lots of Pine Barrens Heather in bloom right now. It is really in bloom. As you can see, look at this. It's beautiful, huh? Look at that, huh? We got turkey vultures up there, too. There they are. And, of course, all those great shapes. All right, that's a little while. It's closed up now. But that is called frostweed. So I guess it might be closed up for the season. I'm not sure. Looks like it is. Oh, yeah. Now we're getting into that piney desert-like area. 
you know, one of my favorite areas here. You know, I always come here. You know that already, so. Dragonflies. And great shapes. That is for us, weird. There it is, in bloom right there. Bloom's around now, so you can see it's a very beautiful flower. It is found here in New Jersey pine lunds and also in the Long Island pine barrens as well. Now, that is what I call a beauty right there. That's the one with the devil horns. You know, it's one of our favorites. This is, love this. This is the gallery of great shapes over here, let me tell you. Gallery of great shapes. Yeah. Oh, yeah, nothing but. Beautiful, great shapes here, I tell you. Lots of classics and some normal ones over there, too, so. Mmm, that pine smells so good, I tell you. Yeah, look at those great shapes. Oh, that's a classic Jersey-style flat top right there. Got blackjack oak. Just like to walk to the end of this trail, check out that beauty right over there, and then we'll... Now we'll head back to the other area. Lots of great shapes here. Yeah, that one is a beauty right there, huh? Yeah. <laughs> it's another beautiful Pine Barren Heather right there. More great shapes. That's a beautiful plant right there, I'll tell you. Here's another beauty right here, huh? Look at that, huh? Look at all the, those are the three brothers right there. We got lots more pine barrens, Heather. All over the place. Of course, we got more great shapes. Look at them, they're really blooming. And of course, more great shapes. Look at all this pine barrens, Heather. Wow. Take a look at all this Pine Barrens Heather and Bloom, huh? And those great shapes. Now that's a beauty right there, huh? So you got lots of uh, pine, pine... You got, still got the Pine Barrens Heather, you also got the Reindeer Lichen. Of course, yeah, that's a beauty right there, that one, I like that one. Alright, we're well, not going to be going down beyond that fence because the flies are already starting to... There are already a few flies out, so... We're just going to walk on this trail for a little bit this way, and then we're going to be heading south on this uh, Tindy Trail. Kind of winding up back where we were earlier. Yeah, I wanted to sidetrack off into this desert-like area right here. Yeah, look at all these great shapes in here, huh? Yes, these are blackjack oaks here. And we'll just pick up, resume on the trail right over here. Look at all these great shapes in here, huh? Alright, making a right on the trail here. We'll head back south again, but let's just take a look at this for a moment here. Yeah. All right, we're going to be taking the Cindy Trail back to where we were, actually. Uh, I do want to see something. Let's see if we can get some pollen off these. Yeah, I think all the male clones have fallen off. That's too bad. Oh, well. <laughs> You see a little butterfly? <laughs> yes, yeah, uh, the burn area here. We've got a lot of little seedlings. Normal pines, as uh, some Long Island folk like to say. Coming in long, uh, normal shapes. <laughs> there you go, look at that, huh? Getting a little warmer now. So, still got a good, pretty good breeze blowing. Hmm, check this out, you can see some more of that Pine Barrens Heather again. Really full bloom. You can see, look at this. Beautiful.
It's that cool mini desert like Gary over here. This is cool. We'll check, go in here and check it out for a minute, I guess. These are the male cones. Let's see if there's any pollen left in them. Oh, yeah, see it coming off? These clouds of pollen that come off the male cones, and you, yeah. you shake the branch, so I get some pollen off there. It's <laughs> going here. Oh, they say pitch point pollen is actually good for your health, so breathe it in, you know? <laughs> if you're not allergic to it, that is. <laughs> Oh yeah, another little desert like Gary here is beautiful. Yeah, look at these shapes here, huh? All right, so uh, kind of near where we were before. Here's something interesting to point out. These scrub oaks, just starting to bud. Just starting to bud, so they still haven't leafed out yet, which is pretty interesting. Um, we get in these areas, it's cold at night, scrub oaks have a tendency to bud later, so that's why you see see that see trees aren't dead they just haven't budded yet see yeah it's just the very beginning see oh uh, yeah look at these shapes here huh yeah that little witch's broom over there huh we're heading back to the nature center I actually saw a nice little yellow butterfly. As it flew away, a bird flew right away, right by and ate it, I think. <laughs> well, that's, you know, that's the cycle of life, you know. <laughs> Speaking of the cycle of life, this is a perfect example of a pitch pine, a very brand new pitch pine seedling that's growing right around the remains of an old pitch pine that was fallen, maybe by a hurricane, maybe by fire. Alright, see that log cabin over there, or what remains of a log cabin? We're gonna make a right over here. This path will take us right back over to the nature center. This path, actually this path is fairly new, they put this path in. It leads from like the playground area, and the tr where we came out actually goes right over to the nature center. And there's the nature center where yours truly will take a little break. Apologize for all these kids, but look at this view. Never got tired of this view here. Let's watch the cloud move across. That's always cool. Lakehurst, that's the hangar at Lakehurst right there. That's what I love this view because when you look here, you see, first of all, the visibility is excellent today. You literally can see as far as pretty much unlimited visibility. And uh, you can see some antennas and stuff. It's like about a little zoom camera. And the antenna there. And if we scroll a little bit down here, that little mountain over there. It's Fork and River Mountain over there. Enjoy this clear air because the summer's coming. You're not going to have visibility like this for a while. Nothing. 
nothing but pine right there. Nothing but pine. That's where that uh, Mule Road area is. This is where we're going now. From all the way, see how far away that is. It's pretty far away because we zoomed out all the way. What a view. This is the best view around, let me tell you. Sure beats the view from the top of the Empire State Building, that's for sure. Well, I know I'd rather be here than at the Empire State Building, wouldn't you? Checking out the birds. Take a look at this. Take a look at this colorful guy. I have no idea what kind of bird that is. He is very colorful, though. Focus. Focus. That's a red-winged blackbird over there. If I can get the camera to focus. Cloud kind of moved over the sun temporarily, so I can't can't see too well. But yeah, it's a red-winged blackbird. wasn't fast enough, but I got a picture of it. There's a chipmunk over there. There's the chipmunk. Oh, aren't they adorable? Alright, take a guess where we're going next. I'm not going to tell you. You'll see. Yep, this is where we're at. That's right, double trouble. Figured, let's do that. Such a nice day. Oh, look at these beautiful pines right across the way here. Those are some great shape. Beautiful butterfly over here. Let's see if it lands. I think it's a red spotted purple, but it might be a swallowtail. I'm not sure. Oh, there you go. Oh yeah, look at all these great shapes. Yeah. Nothing but great shapes over here, man. Yes, we're in the land of the uh, crazies, as I like to call it, because our shapes here are just more interesting to look at. They're not normal ones, so, you know, you get all... The cool thing about pitch pines, they can really uh, just be forged into all these different kinds of shapes. It's really cool, you know? And of course, I do love the classics. Speaking of beauties, here you go. Yeah. Just look at this beautiful scene before you. Alright, next we're going to be at that beautiful lake. Well, before we get there, let's take in some more of this beautiful scenery here. <sighs> Alright, we've arrived at the beautiful lake. Yes, look at that, huh? Nothing but great shapes. And of course, that beautiful seat of water. Dragonflies. That beautiful view. You got that beautiful blackjack oak there. You know blackjack oaks. I love them. My favorite oaks, actually. Nothing but great shapes here. Oh, we're heading over to the box now. Beautiful scene here, look at this. Look at these shapes, huh? Got a beautiful blackjack oak there. Blackjack's definitely looking nice. Now those are some great shapes over there, huh? 
Well, they've drained the bogs, but look what we have. Great white egret. Yeah. I want, I want you to see what they look like when they take flight. Yeah. Well, I got a half a second sample of one in flight, but the memory card acted up. This is what happens when you have a class, uh, I don't know what card in your camera, but there's an egret. It just went to the... Let's see if we can get close up to him. He doesn't know I'm here. Let's see. He went over here. Let's see. This time I got it rolling. So st this camera just... There you go. I wanted to show how beautiful they are when they fly. Now if the camera would focus, that would be nice. There's actually two. Ah! This camera. Oh, oh. They're beautiful, as you can see. When they take flight, they're just awesome. And that is a red-winged blackbird over there. Guess what I have to show you along the trail here at Double Trouble State Park. Yep, another pink lady slipper. That's right. What a beautiful flower. All right, this spot brings us to the New Jersey Pony Power Show to an end. Uh, hopefully you got a chance to enjoy the last of the cool days before the heat of the summer comes. So thank you for watching, and remember, it's all about those great shapes.